638 now new this morning. A local man is walking across the country to help raise money and awareness for those in need. He plans to walk more than 3000 miles from New Mexico to the Canadian border. WCPO 9 News reporter Jasmine Miner explains this mission and how it's inspiring thousands around the world. Jason Boss tells me that whether it's here in the United States or overseas in Nigeria, there are families in need of support for basic human necessities like water. And that's why he's taking on the Continental Divide Trail starting today in order to lighten that load for others. It's a journey worth the walk. I'm walking for fun and just the enjoyment and they have to walk for their basic human needs. Jason Boss will walk the Continental Divide Trail 3,028 miles and the hardest trail in the U.S. All in the name of two organizations, the New Way Foundation, an organization helping families in Nigeria. They walk for for education to their schools. They're walking to get just water. They'll walk miles just to go get water and then have to carry it back. And a venture crew an organization helping kids right here at home. And they take uh, underprivileged kids out on adventures like kayaking, hiking, and snowboarding and all that stuff. After nearly losing his life in a motorcycle accident, Jason is taking a second chance to give back. I just hope I inspire people to help others, help themselves mainly, get out and focus on your mental health because way too many people have problems with that nowadays and and it, Nature can help. It gives you time to think, gets you away from your everyday problems. It's just, it's, it's healing. Well, if you would like to support Jason in his mission and raising awareness and money for both of these organizations, you can do that. He's got an Instagram and a Facebook account that he's going to be consistently posting on throughout his journey. And of course, later on, check our website at WCPO.com because we'll have those links there for you as well. I'm Jasmine Miner reporting for WCPO 9 News.